In this video, I'm going to be going over the general public's biggest fear with electric vehicles that's running out of range. Right now, I am dangerously close to running out of range, and in this video, we're going to find out what happens if you almost run out of range. Hopefully, I don't because I don't have a coat and it is snowing out. So it's going to be tough if I'm stuck on the side of the road. And I'll show you how you can uh, charge the Chevrolet Bolt uh, using a Kia EV6 or roadside service. I don't know, but that's what will happen if I run out in this video. But crossing my fingers, I don't. Let me show you how much range I have left and how far I have to go. The Chevrolet Bolt is showing a minimum of 18 miles of range and we have 16 miles to travel. Um, so a two mile buffer is not good at all, especially because this range calculator is based off your previous driving uh, since last charge, I believe. And the problem with that is that it was warm the past uh, week or so that I haven't charged, which means that um, my Chevrolet's efficiency has been a lot better than it has today because today it literally is snowing out. You can't really see it very well on camera, but it is. So it's at least below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which means we should have a pretty bad efficiency. Now, I'm gonna show you the first tip on how to improve your efficiency. So the first tip you can do to improve your electric vehicle's range is to immediately turn off climate controls in the summertime, it won't help you as much because air conditioning uses a lot less electricity than heating your car does. But um, definitely turn your heat down at the very least or turn it off to instantly boost your range and increase your confidence and likelihood that you'll reach your destination. But I am gonna keep my heated seat and steering wheel on because I'm freezing, I'm wearing short sleeves right now and I don't actually have a coat in the car, so I really hope that this isn't a roadside assistance video in the freezing cold. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried, but hopefully I can drive efficiently and show you some tips on how to drive efficiently and we can make it home. I'll also say that um, if I wasn't trying to make a video about this, I probably would go to a charging station right by me. There aren't any chargers once I head on the way home because we're driving through a, a rural roads is what it's gonna be like. Um, but right now I'm kinda in this uh, town of Clarkston and they have quite a few chargers here that I could charge. But the reason I don't is charging costs myself time, it costs money, and oh, look at what the Bolt just told me, it just said, charge vehicle soon let me flip the camera around look at the bolt it just popped up with the chime that says charge vehicle soon oh and my range estimate went down because i'm using a kilowatt of power so my original plan to escape this was to uh eat at one of these fast food places and just plug into an outlet but unfortunately uh culver's they had outlets in a perfect spot to charge my car but then when i plugged in my car it said charging unsuccessful because apparently the circuit breaker was turned off or something so no dice on that that if i wanted to uh, charge i would have to go to either a level two charger which for whatever reason they do all cost money to keep them open and so that way people don't just uh, clog up the system or DC fast chargers which are even more expensive but they would be a lot faster to get a few miles to get a good buffer but they uh, cost time money and I want to test what driving a Chevrolet Bolt will do when it's really low battery um, so let's get into the action and I'll share some tips on how to drive more efficiently. A cool feature of the Chevy Bolt is that there's this green uh, ring around your speed. And if you accelerate too fast and are inefficient, it turns yellow, watch. See that? That's wasting electricity. 
I'm being a little uh, overconfident there because I'm still not sure if I'll make it uh, home. Uh, and I was just told that if I don't make it, the EV6 will not come save me and that I should call a tow. So definitely the stakes are high right now. Um, so at this point, I'm starting to regret the decision to make this video because it says I have a minimum of 13 miles and I have 14 miles to go. That's a one mile buffer, which can evaporate instantly. The way that this efficiency works is there's a little line underneath the speed. It shows you if you're trending towards the maximum or minimum. I am not a fan right now that my minimum amount of range is 11 miles and I have 13 miles to go so it's up to me if I make it or not. And my propulsion is reduced, did you guys hear that? I'm trying to regen as much power as possible, I literally am not going to touch the brake at all. Um, so it's kind of crazy and now I can't even see my maximum or minimum amount of range that's one of the Chevy Bolt's biggest design flaws in my opinion when you get low battery your range is what matters the most to you and right now I can't even see it I just have these little bars the only way you can actually see your range number is if you check the Chevrolet app uh, which you have to buy OnStar for so, I am stressed out to say the least right now. Imagine if this was somebody's first time buying an electric vehicle and they're doing this kind of thing. Like how stressed out they'd be if they uh, didn't uh, plan enough buffer in between chargers and then their car all of a sudden says low battery. Uh, and doesn't tell them if they have enough miles or not to reach the next charger, that'd be extremely stressful. Now, I'm trying my best to uh, green ring green and not yellow. I'm also not speeding at all. I'm very sorry to the traffic behind me. I apologize, but I gotta make it home. The Chevrolet Bolt doesn't just say low now, it started blinking low, which like makes me think I'm like dying right now, like my car's just gonna stop working immediately. Uh, even though it says propulsion's reduced, I don't really feel it right now, but I'm not really uh, pressing down on the pedal really at all. Gotta make this yellow light right here. Cause I don't really want to be stopping and going at any more than I have to. One of the problem though is my windshield's getting slightly foggy and I can't turn on the heat to uh, clear it up. So I might have to stop the car at one point and wipe off the windshield, I don't know. A little update I learned is that I can uh, wipe off my windshield from the inside of the car. I was getting a little worried about that and my battery is still flashing. Propulsion definitely feels reduced and I am freezing because I'm in shorts and short sleeves right now and it's like less than 32 degrees outside. Right now, I feel absolutely terrified because I have no clue how much range we have left. We are still seven miles away from home and I'm freezing because I'm wearing short sleeves and shorts and it feels like it's probably 32 degrees in here. It really doesn't feel like it's much uh, warmer in here than it is outside and I had to turn off my heated seat and steering wheel just because I'm worried about my power because I can't see my range number. Um, if Chevrolet just added an update so that blinking and just show me actual range numbers, I could easily kind of guess if I'd make it to my destination or not or how uh, difficult of a journey it will be. But right now, I have whatever foggy windshield that I keep having to wipe. This is very, very scary video to make. So make sure you please like and subscribe because I am freezing just for you 
and possibly risking getting my car towed for you just to make this video. So all I ask in return is for you to hit that like button and subscribe, please. Here is the energy for anybody wondering what that looks like. Energy use is full charge, but I only charge to like 80% and I've plugged in shortly uh, in between that. So don't think that this is my battery capacity or anything like that. And then, um, what do you call it? This is my graph of my energy use. So it seems like I'm doing a pretty good job driving efficiently, but I'm still scared because we're like four miles away or something like that. And it cars definitely feels like I have really reduced power. I am shivering. This is so terrifying. Definitely the best thing that the Chevy engineers could do is just to make sure people can see how much range they have when they're getting low. It doesn't reduce your anxiety to be wondering how much range you have left. It only increases it. So maybe somebody's thought process was, well, if they can't see that they're about to run out, they won't fear it. Eh, I definitely fear it. And I can feel the pedal getting mushier and mushier as I'm getting closer. Um, but yeah, and I think the fact that I'm freezing also is uh, inducing some actual danger because I don't have a coat. So what am I gonna do if I run out? I don't know. I'm starting to feel some relief because we're only 1.5 miles away and it's still allowing me to travel at 46 miles per hour. When I get to uh, almost my driveway, I will gun it to see how much power the car can give us. Because as you can see, it has a uh, gauge that tells you exactly how many kilowatts worth of power you're using at the moment. So normally the Chevy Bolt has up to um, 146 or 150 kilowatts of power it can output. Um, so I'm going to test that. I'm also currently like in eco mode and stuff, but for a little test, I will put it into sport mode so that way it's not limiting power there, but it might be capped either way. Um, but yeah, I'm almost, almost to our street and we can test out sport mode. So interestingly enough, the car doesn't let me put it into sport mode, um, but here is the power when I gun it. Ready? Wow, that is really fast. I bet we probably made it with, I'm guessing, four miles of buffer. Um, so I'm gonna recap when we get there. I've never been so happy to make it home. But look at this windshield. I'm really glad I was able to uh, wipe it off with my hand and that it wasn't on the outside of the car. Um, but yeah, no, the windshield, very, very fogged up. I'm freezing, as you can see the camera shaking. I apologize, this was not a planned video and I'm just freezing. I'm so happy I can finally turn on these heat controls <laughs> and heated seat. Cause I turned off the heated seat and steering wheel when it started blinking. So, we made it home. Now, I'm gonna tell you probably what I would have done if I did run out and how I would have fixed the issue. Now, if I did run out of power, um, I was told I should call a tow, but my other plan would have been to uh, get somebody to bring over the Kia EV6 to me and uh, use our vehicle to load it after um, to uh, charge my Bolt with the uh, Kia EV6 on the side of the road. Now, that would take forever, but let's say if I fell short by one mile, one mile would only take like 20 minutes to charge, so it wouldn't be the end of the world to get like one mile worth, worth of range um, using whatever uh, adapter. 
the reason I was so terrified that the car was gonna run out of power um, isn't because I don't trust the bolts calculations or anything like that um, but it's just because this whole week the weather has been super warm and this day in particular it dropped below freezing um, that I knew the bolts okay now I don't really understand the car is just beeping at me constantly I might have to do with the power being reduced I'm not plugged in yet so it'd be funny if uh, we're using six kilowatts of power and it runs out while I'm talking yeah just the cars just beeping at me it's really annoying but um the reason is that it's been really really warm all week long and today it's really cold the bolt usually calculates the uh, range calculation off your previous driving and it does it extremely well but if your previous driving is in warm weather and then the next day you're in freezing cold weather and you're cutting it this close a mile difference uh, is what it told me the minimum range was and we were starting to trend towards it I was getting a little terrified because <laughs> it, it is but you, as you can see I did a really driving efficiently I got almost up to five kilowatt hours of power or of uh, miles per kilowatt hour at one point you see on that graph I resetted it as soon as I uh, did our drive home um you can see uh, this is the thing that goes over everything that um, is possibly wrong with my driving but my technique added 11 miles worth of range but this isn't during the whole challenge this is just uh, since last charge um, but I think I did show it at one point during the video that I can subtract that and put that on the screen to show you how many miles my technique saved during the video um, or I might not do that if I'm lazy um, the at the beginning of the day, okay, I'm going to turn this car off because it started to beep a bunch and it was starting to... Is that, um, in the beginning of the day, the day kind of started off warm but it dropped below freezing. So, this is the first time that I've seen the battery conditioning on. It says 1% of our battery was used for that at all during this week. This just means that the battery um, heats itself to keep it within operating temperature. That's kind of what happens during the winter. Even though, it's, you, as you can see, not a huge percentage. Climate controlled is 10% of that. Which, so, even if you're in the winter, your range drops because of battery conditioning and um, uh, all that. But, um your climate settings does really affect your range in the winter more than battery conditioning and you can mitigate that by turning off your climate controls if you're terrified of running out of power like how I was during this video. Um, please leave a comment if you'd like me to do this kind of video again although I really don't want to because it was very 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 stressful um, I'm shaking, I'm partly cold, and it's partly because I'm stressed. But, uh, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, so that way you can see more content like this. This has been Battery Blade. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!